Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for checking out my videos. This one's kind of an important one. Uh, we're gonna be talking about pressure sores and how to change the dressing by yourself because most of the time if you have a pressure sore, it's gonna be on your buttocks. So uh, stay tuned and I'm gonna tell you right now. Hey okay, guys, all you need is a smartphone and a TV that you can cast your screen to the TV. And you can do it with a Roku stick or a Fire Stick or a smart TV. Um, and I got one of these things and they really, you know, cell phone hold, they're really good or you can just lean it against your pillow. But be careful with leaning against your pillow because sometimes it falls over and you don't really want to be touching your pillow, your, 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 your phone and then doing your dressing change on stuff unless you have like hand sanitizer close by, which I recommend. But that's all you need. Cell phone, smartphone, smart TV, your TV you can cast to in one of these and you're doing your own dressing changes all day, every day. I gotta make this a little bit fast too because I turned off my air conditioning and my fan so I could have like no background noise really and um, so yeah so I'm gonna get out of here I have to get out of the GoPro app and I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna screencast straight away I start just screencasting you know okay here we go okay so it just connected now I'm gonna point this at my TV so you guys can see it's showing everything on my TV and then I go to camera. Actually, you know what? as you can see, I'm looking at the TV. And then I go to the camera after I start screencasting. And then I go to record. And you want to make sure that the flash is on. You want to make sure you have enough battery that you could have your flash on for like at least 15 minutes. Because it's going to take that long for you to learn how to do it efficiently. And then you just point it at your bottom. You know? Let's see if I can get the camera a little bit better. Pointing at it. See better. There we go, that's good enough. You know, and then you're there, and then you're able to. What I do is I kind of like fold the pillow so my legs are a little bit spread apart. And like this, I don't know if you can see the whiteness of this right here, but this is where the wound is for me. So I'm on my side and I'm with one hand between my legs. You know? Well, I'll just show you now that you can see. Alright. So the camera's there, like that. Right? And then. Like this, one hand's here, like this, in between my legs, and the other hand's on the top, doing the business. I'm not gonna show you how you got how I do my dressing change and all that stuff, but I do it A plus. Every nurse that sees me do it sees that they're like, oh, you did this by yourself. They are like, they I give you props, like you do a good job. Like I know how to do my dressing change. I know how to. I could pack it. You could pack it by yourself too. Like this helps you out so much, especially like when you're doing wound care. Because what I do is I have a nurse that comes here every day and changes it for me once a day but then when I go to sleep I change it again just to have a fresh clean packing throughout the night that I'm sleeping and it's not dry I mean it's not wet and it has a fresh dry gauze to keep it like you know at a good temperature at a good you know moisture level so yeah you guys this is uh, this is the way to you know just do your own pressure uh, pressure sore dressings just j dressing changes I mean unless it's like you need a lot of packing and you need to be on your stomach because the hole is so big that the packing is gonna come out then maybe that's a different story and then you need somebody to do it for you always then and then once it starts getting so you don't need the packing and all you need to be doing is, is, is dressing it like just covering it up with some gauze and some tape this is the way to do it you guys you're not gonna need to be paying for a home nurse or you're not gonna need to be waiting for a home nurse or anything like that you could just do it by yourself so I'm hope I hope and I'm pretty sure this is gonna help some people out because I already had some people asking me because they heard me talk about this. They're like, hey, how do you do your own dressing changes? And I'm finally making the video. So thanks for watching me, guys. Thanks for supporting me. I'm trying to like, you know, I'm wearing a t-shirt, you know, trying to like make it a little bit better for all audiences and stuff like that, a little more information. 